going to be making a snack which I call toasted sardine crunch. To begin with, let's get the toast down. I've got three slices here, and I'll probably have this done by the time the toast are ready actually, it's very quick. So what we need to do to begin with is I've got a tin of sardines here in tomato sauce. Um, the tin I'm using weighs 120 grams, can be there or thereabouts, it doesn't have to be exact. So all you have to do with this is, I've taken the bones out, you don't have to, because they're, they're all going to break down anyway, they're very fine the bones, but Aaron doesn't like the bones, so I've taken them out. So what I'm going to add to this is a couple of packets of crisps, take your favourite flavour, I'm using salt and vinegar. Take them, crunch them down. I'm going to give that a quick stir. Just munch it all down like that, just like that. Okay. That bag I used was a 25 gram bag of crisps. What I need to do now is just add some mayonnaise. I'm going to about roughly one tablespoon to begin with. I'm going to add another half tablespoon. Okay. I've also got my grill set at high, so that's actually warming up at the moment as well. And there's your, uh, there's your mixture there. Do you know what? I'm going to actually add another packet of crisps. I want some more crisps in that. So I'm going to go for another bag, which is again 25 grams. So in total we're looking at 50 grams. Probably easy to do like this actually. Uh, do you want to put that cheese back? Uh, how rude! There we go, break it up in the bag. Throw it in. Is this the low-fat version? <laughs> we don't do low-fat, we just eat in moderation. And uh, all is good. There we go. It won't need any salt because obviously the uh, crisps have got salt in there. The toast is ready now. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. I'm going to leave them in the toaster for a minute because I want them to go a bit crispy. So I'm just going to leave them like that while I finish up here. Okay? Pepper. There we go. And if you come look at the mixture, that's kind of what you, you get. And I am actually gonna put another, because I did that extra bag of crisps, another half tablespoon of mayonnaise. And because this could be all of it, I'm gonna just get it off. Uh -uh. I don't wanna waste it. So that's your mixture there. I'm gonna get the toast. I'm not gonna butter it, because I want the toast to stay crispy. Whichever bread you like. If you like white bread, go for white. If you like wholemeal, go for wholemeal. Makes no difference. All you have to do now is just spread this on the toast. Make sure you get right to the edges because you don't want the toast to burn under the grill. You could probably actually get four toasts out of this amount, but I'll go with three. Because it is quite rich, so you could easily get this spread on four pieces of toast. There's a little bit left in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. There you go, three pieces. Cheese, cheddar cheese, strong mature cheddar is what I use. If you find mature cheddar is too strong, by all means, you use a milder version, not a problem. So this can go under the grill, probably for about two to three minutes, but obviously watch it. Ready for the big reveal? Don't burn yourself. They're done. This was under the grill probably between two and three minutes. I say 
it's very Moorish. So this is toasted sardine crunch. The only accompaniment you'll need for this is a sofa, a movie and a beverage. Enjoy.